Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, let's see where we left off. Uh, yesterday when I was prepping for the uh, fusion reactor to go online, uh, I decided I would make some of the items off screen, but not put them into play until uh, I could record it in the stream. Since we have one more stream before tonight when uh, I stream with Trinity and she can uh, activate the uh, fusion reactor herself. And I'll stand really close so we can get a recording of it going live. So I made uh, eight more pumps and then eight more filter upgrades. And then I made uh, eight speed upgrades and eight energy upgrades for each of them. I also made two more solar neutron activators and eight speed upgrades each. I also wanted to look into uh, adding three more thermal evaporation valves, one for each tower. And uh, I didn't want to make this off camera because this is a new item. I wanted to do this on stream and on recording so that y'all could see uh, the resistive heater. Whoops, I misspelled it. The resistive heater. So I'm not 100% sure that this is necessary. Uh, I'm going to make them just because it's an extra item and I I would rather turn on the machine once and have it up and running and working rather than uh, mess with it, uh, what's it called, uh, more than once. You know, like if it goes offline, I'm going to have to put the laser back and... Uh, make it uh what's what's it called i have to reactivate it and that'd be a, a pain in the butt it really would be a pain in the butt to reactivate that entire unit so that's three resistive heaters these are going to heat the three towers through the night um uh, and then when we get over there i'll tell you what i did a little experiment and i found that's why I'm, I'm wondering if these resistive heaters really are necessary for these resistive heaters, we need thermoelectric cables. These from uh, from mechanism, uh, yeah, from mechanism. So let me make just eight. Uh, that, and then I'm going to just upgrade them, mostly because the ultimate cable is purple, and. The yeah, purple is my favorite color, and uniformity, and you know, maximizing everything. I want it to be pretty, pretty awesome. I don't want to be stingy and have it not work. Uh, so yeah, let's go to new mechanism. This is where you can see the other fluid tank just filled up. And what's really funny is I talked to the actual mod creator for Nuclear Craft, and he said that. Uh, his his reactor now accepts mechanism gas, so it doesn't need to be turned into a liquid anymore. From from what he said, but uh, I have it I have it up and running, you know. So I'm gonna keep keep doing the liquid unless I find out that the dynamic tanks are causing uh, FPS drop. I'm not sure with the liquids being shown if it uh, causes any problems. Oops, so that one's backwards. We already made our first mistake. Let me just turn it around real quick. Because I have slight lag in what I'm doing, and I'm not sure if uh, what exactly is causing it. If it's the, the, uh, the huge evaporation towers, or if it's the dynamic tank, I'm not sure. So these three are uh, are going to work together, and I'm going to use the upgrades, and shift right click and feed in eight on each. Cool, there we go. So now these guys are all getting, yeah, li uh, lithium. 
and all turning it into tritium. Cool, so that's three. And no conflicts in the cabling because I moved them. Uh, so that's, we added uh, two more over here. Then down here, what I want to do is I wanted to add more pumps. So let's see, which direction do they face when you put them down? Do they face us or do they face away? They face away, good. One, two, three, and four. And then before I do the other four, I'm going to dig the hole. So let me grab the Matic. I'll switch this out and I also need to get, do I not have buckets on me anymore? I need to grab new buckets. At least one. Bucket. There we go. And let's go back. New mechanism. Oh yeah, we don't need to go because we have a water source here now. Whoop, that was fast. All right, so one there. So we need to put one there. And then we need to put one here. One there. One here. I just want to make sure. One there. One there. One there. One there. Okay. And then, oh man. I've totally forgot I was I wanted to do something else, but I can clean it up. Later I'm going to uh get rid of the dirt and I'm going to put in stone and I'm gonna border it so that it looks nicer. And then of course I'm gonna fill in that hole over there. That's what's driving me crazy. But let's see, we need to how did we do it? We ran a power through the middle. And it's already sunset. Can't sleep yet. Let's grab power. And I made a whole bunch of cables so that we wouldn't have to waste any time during the stream and during the recording to, uh... oh no, before I do that, I need to put in the filter upgrades. <clears throat> I, was hope I was thinking about putting power in them uh, so that I could run the second line. There we go. Hmm, is this one stuck with regular water now? Can I, when I break him, hmm, hmm, hmm. How am I gonna do this? Grab my pick real quick. When I break him, does he keep his internal water? Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Let me see, how am I going to do this? I want to avoid you needing to use that dropper. Can I? Put you down. Do you still have power? You have enough power. Hmm. I need to put down at least one sort, like I'll put down a thermal block to be quicker. Let's see, that should be fine. And then I'll put them on the sides. 
and then I'll use the configurator to turn them around. No, dude, don't connect. And I threw him. <laughs> there, 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 there. Okay, so yeah, I, I could have put him down and then uh, put the upgrades in and then uh, I could have picked them back up and then placed them along the cable. Uh, but now they should all have the upgrades in them. I can use the configurator and shift right, shift scroll wheel to rotate. Cool. And then how does this work? It, I think you have to click on the side that's showing. Rotate this way. Okay, it rotates the opposite direction of where you click. Yeah. There we go. They're all rotated now. Let me run the power in between. There, there, and there. Let me see. Heavy water. Heavy water. Heavy water. Heavy water. Just making a hundred percent sure. Heavy water. Heavy water. Heavy water. Okay. And now let's throw some speed upgrades in them. go 32 24 16 8 that's the speed upgrades now the energy upgrades 6 48 40 32 22, 16, 8, and that's all of the upgrades for all of them. Now I need to grab a fluid trash can. Let's see, if, uh, I think I have a trash can inside. What? Dispose of any fluid or item. Trash can fluid. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. <clears throat> Upgrades. There's no direction, it's only power. Yeah, filled up. Let's see, maybe I can drop a tank in. Since it's exactly 1,000 millibuckets, let me make a redstone servo, come on dude. So yeah, I got a little bit of lag, and I'm not sure exactly where this lag is coming from. Let's go back. And let's hope that this works. Can I just drop you? Sweet! Empty! Oh, I better, I hope that water goes away. So yeah, dropping the portable tank in here pulled all of the, the reservoir. Let me grab this guy and then place him back over here with all of his siblings. And now, okay, cool, you're producing heavy water. And you have 8 out of 8, 8 out of 8, and a filter upgrade. Cool. So that's the heavy water. Let's see, are you, everybody else? Heavy water. Heavy water. Cool. 
and power is not really going in because uh, I, I realized that I have to turn off the void ore miner and the mob farm because everything else is is fighting for power right now. The only thing that's making power, since all of the solar generators have been cut off, uh, the only thing that's making power right now are the uh, four gas burning generators burning ethylene. So I'm only making 10,000 RF a tick. So let's see, that's these pipes. And I wanted to run, what is it, mechanical, right? Logistical mechanical pipe. There we go. We're running mechanical. And let's connect all of these bad boys. Let's see. Does that look nice? It looks like it's working really well. Awesome. And then you are getting full of heavy water. Cool. All of these things are all up and running. This is looking great. <clears throat> oh, and then what I wanted to talk about was uh, this is empty on deuterium, on the gas form of deuterium. Hmm, this is full, right? 16, yeah. So this is full. All right. Empty. See, so it says deuterium inside. It says heavy water inside. So this These should be input only. Input from the bottom. Input from the bottom, okay. These are full. Dumping excess, heavy water, empty. I'm assuming you're refilling the pipe. This wasn't an issue like last night. Let's go inside. See, like, why are you, why are you empty, dude? Fuel, deuterium, tritium, deuterium. It's not on yet. I turned this off because it filled up in under three hours with two gigajoules. So, and it holds its power when you turn it off. So it only took three hours. People complained a lot about it, uh, about it taking too long, but I think they're just not used to having patience for like a three hour period. Like it only was three hours. So that's not long for me. I guess I have more patience. Let's see, like this is bugging me, like why? Why is full, full, because it, it shouldn't be leaking anywhere. Is it just a graphical error? Is it just a not showing? See, that worries me. But what I was going to say is these thermal evaporation uh, plants, the solar generators on top make this bar fill up with heat, and heat is what turns the water into brine and the brine into lithium in the middle one. And I tested it two different nights, Minecraft nights. I checked it out when it was sunset, and the temperature only drops from 10.16 to 9.13 during the night. So is that really a large enough temperature difference to not make enough brine and lithium during the nighttime? Um, I didn't want to run the risk, so I made the uh, resistive heaters anyway. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and put these uh, into play. I'm going to run the cable over here. Let's see. Do I want to put them back here? I can. They'll be out of the way then. So I need to change one of these with a thermal evaporation valve. See, like, I think the lag is coming from these thermal evaporation plants because it is not fun to watch. I'm going to put a valve here. Did you pop? Okay. I'm going to put a valve here. All right. And then I'm going to put a valve here. All right. The resistive heaters, I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one here, and I'm going to place one here. Cool. And then I need to run power. So let's run power under. And I really hope it's going to let me run power under. And ultimate universal cable there. Come on, buddy. There. like this. And like this. And after I figure out that it fully works, I can work on hiding the cables and making everything look pretty. So there they all have power now. And then I'm going to grab the thermal it's thermodynamic, thermo, yeah, thermodynamic goes in here. Cool. So that should be heating it up now, right? If you get power later, I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And then let's see if the configurator has a option for uh, heat. Yeah, configure heat. So pull, pull heat, hmm. pull heat from here, right? I hope it's the right side. Let me remove this real quick and look at both sides. That is the same, right? I believe it is. So I'll do pull heat. Pull heat. It's because they're not getting enough juice. I need to turn off the uh, mob farm and the void ore miner for this. Man, the lag is just awful. And that really bothers me that there's no nothing in this pipe. Please. 
etwas. Alright, so let me go to Let me go here. And let me change this guy to in for now. That guy's out because it is our induction matrix. Power is coming in and then it's being output into the wireless RF power cell. Um, I'm also going to go downstairs to IC2 and I'm going to set this power cell to in. To in. Okay, that'll turn both of these off without me needing to remove the uh, the power cell for right now. Let's see, oh yeah, I had them doing machine blocks. Let me hit stop and then grab the machine blocks because machine blocks are what is key ingredient to the power cells. Uh, let me grab, uh, yeah, another tank and run an experiment. And they're they're so cheap that it's uh, I'm totally fine with uh, with just making a new one instead of wasting time on stream. See now it's filling. What I was going to do was I was going to. Okay, it doesn't work. I was gonna try to take some of the DT fuel out, but yeah, it is a gas, so it's not going to go into a liquid tank. But, I mean, it's lighting up now, so maybe, maybe because I added the pumps and it added so much heavy water that it, I don't know, maybe it backed up and started making the uh, deuterium and it emptied it out. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. It's it's filling up again. It's not it's not really that bright right now, but I don't remember if the more full it gets, the if the 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 pink gets brighter. Empty. Hmm. I also didn't check to see if we were bottomed out on heavy water before I in inserted all of these guys. I'll take this trash can with me. That's just silly to have it just sitting around back here. All right, so eight more pumps. Uh, two more solar neutron activators. And this guy, are you still ready for later? Got fuel in both. I pulled the whole rum out. I pulled the whole room out the top because I was terrified that I was, when I was checking this uh, laser amplifier, I was terrified I was going to hit the uh, switch and turn it on before Trinity has her available, uh, is available to. Storing two giga. That should be enough. And it's filling up with with fuel now, the, the pipe is back to normal. Uh, so that's the prep work that I wanted to do with the deuterium and tritium fuel. Um, one thing I did realize is these universal cables, they can only do 128 RF a tick, which I thought this fusion reactor is most likely going to do more than 128,000 RF a tick. So I need power cables that can handle that amount. So I looked into making the cryostabilized flux ducts. And uh, before I get into the cryostabilized flux ducts, let's see, these are still not getting power. 
So maybe they can't take power from underneath. Let's see, if I move you here. Now you're getting power. And then I'm not sure if it's transferring heat yet. We need to see when it's full. Temperature 301. It's full. See, like, I don't know what that switch is for. Dissipated. Using. 40 RF a tick. Let's bump you up to 200. And then we can do the same thing with these guys. I'll put you down here instead. And I'll bump you up to 200. 200 RF a tick, temperature 307. Does, hmm. Power is now coming in through the side. Does it have to exit the other side as thermal? Let's test that real quick. Put you here. I'll put this here and this here. And then I'll hook you back up to power. And set you back to 200. This will be my mini experiment while we go and work on the cryo stabilized flux duct. Where do I throw my configurator? Am I blind? It's on my hotbar. Yes, I am blind. Set you to pull. Let's see. So this brine is in here, so whatever's inside needs to be pulled out. So like I get confused on the pulled out and pulled in. So this needs to be like that, and it needs to be pulled out. And then this one. Let's see if it pulled out the top. And then you. Let's see, where should I put you? Guess I'll have to go past this. I'll, I'll do pulling out uh, the top as well. There. There. It does need thermodynamic conductors. There's no other GUI to it. Temperature, That's, this is supposed to rise up in the middle. And let me set this to 200 while we're here. Okay, temperature. I'll definitely make sure that these are working before tonight when we stream with Trin when she turns them on. Uh, maybe. While we're working on the uh, cryostabilized flux duct, we can check and see if it says sunset and night. We can come down here and see if this energy, if this heat is going down. That's one way to test it. 
ditch these in here for now. Bucket. Dude, why'd you split? There, like that. All right, and let's get cracking on the uh, the flux duct. That's something that's super important. So let's see, flux, flux duct. We have to start all the way from the bottom. So I'm gonna make some leadstone flux duct. Let's see, where are my XNet cables? Uh, they are network. They're probably in my bag. No. At Xnet. I don't know where they are. Where could they be? If not in here, am I blind again? Weird. If they're not in my bag or in the storage facility, then where are they? Do I have a chest somewhere with all of my XNet stuff? I need two more lapis plates, which is the compressor with lapis dust, the pressurizer with lapis. So let's grab two lapis. Oh, am I showing view craftable? That's what it is. Xnet. There we go. So silly, silly, silly. Let's see where I was doing flux duct. I'm still learning how the ME system works because this is my first time trying to do full on automation. So all of these buttons and everything, I haven't made it this far in a mod pack yet. So Xnet is network cables. We'll make 12 flux duct. And then we need to upgrade them to hardened. Now they're hardened. And then we need to update up upgrade them from redstone energy flux duct. We need to upgrade them like this. Okay, I ran out of electrum plates. Craftable, stored and craftable electrum plates. Let's do 10. And no, oh. there. There, and I want to get rid of all of these. So more Electrum, let's do another 10. I want to be, I don't want to use up too much of the Electrum just in case we need it down the line. That would be silly to make an overabundance of Electrum right now. There, for real, how many do I have? Just two more, huh? I don't think I'm gonna need this much flux duct in the long run, but I don't like having hardened flux duct. There we go. And I'm not going to upgrade the rest of these. Uh, let's see. 
I don't want to have a mismatch of cables in my uh, ME system. You know, like at one one cable of every tier. I don't want that. Flux duct. Now what we need to do, redstone energy flux duct. We need to fill it with destabilized redstone in the fluid transposer. Okay. So we need the destabilized redstone that we have in the smeltery. We probably need buckets. Let's make sure. Resonant flux duct, signalum flux duct, redstone energy flux duct, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Fluid transposer fill, destabilized redstone. I need a bucket. This is my first time doing this one as well. So we need the bucket. And let's go to the downstairs. And we'll grab the destabilized redstone and go upstairs. Oh, wait. Knew it. Hopper. Go upstairs to thermal. Fluid transposer has molten lumium in it. Configuration. Information. Zero RF. Energy stored. What does this button say? Mode fill. Mode empty. Hmm. And it's 575. Can I? Did I use that bucket? Yes. Okay. I, I exited. Uh, I emptied it. So let's do mode empty. Whoa, that filled up fast. <laughs> I didn't mean to fill it up that much. So let's drop these guys in. Now you can fill them. Cool. This is cool. I like this. So I might as well, since these are just crafting, I might as well fill them all. That's neat. So I'll do fill mode again, and I'll just dump this. And make the rest of these while we're here. So that transfers 18,000, which is still not that impressive. One more time. Like that. And then this should work, right? Nice. Cool. So yeah, you can use the buckets or the tanks. So that's the redstone energy flux duct. Now let's see. We need to go signalum flux duct will be the next one we have to make. So let's do flux duct signalum and we got three. What what are we missing? Is are we missing the cables? Duh. I'm making I wasn't expecting to make like 90 of these. So let's see signalum that probably used up the rest of our signalum. Yeah, that's the rest of our signalum. But six, hmm, I might need more than six. So let's just make some signalum real quick. Signalum was copper, silver, and the destabilized redstone. So copper, three, silver, one, and redstone one and let's just squeeze out some of this real quick let's see what's in here it's the ingot cast perfect are you empty we are going to turn this off and then yeah so fuel that's the problem so let's do some copper and then we're definitely definitely going to tick accelerate this 
silver, and redstone. And of course we run out of lava, because Trin's working on uh, astral sorcery, and I really cannot wait till we can use uh, starlight. Starlight would be really awesome right now. But luckily I had a, an ender book location set up for this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And let's go back really fast. Let's put these bad boys back in for now. Let's see. Oh, I got the, the redstone back because I broke the unit. So let's do this and that. And signalum is on the bottom. I'm going to pour you out. What are we missing? redstone and then we're gonna pour you faster and then we're gonna make you ingots faster okay we are missing copper and silver copper copper and silver more copper, more redstone. And we can pour you out faster. Go, go, go. Let's see, we got copper. And I'm working on learning how to use the uh, the uh, AE system, the ME system from AE2. Uh, I'm learning on how to automate making signalum by using a bucket that can cycle through uh, uh, so that I can automate making the signalum blend and then using a melter to melt it. Cool, the floor didn't render. You can see our chicken down there. I don't know. I hope this isn't an, another world corruption because I don't think I can handle another world corruption. Let's see. I can still click on the terminal. Because if uh, my world corrupted on Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttle, so I quit that mod pack and I went back to Enigmatica. And if this one corrupts, I don't know. I really don't know if I can I can make it through that two corruptions. Signalum. Let's now let's search flux duct. Cool, we need signalum flux duct. And let's make that is more than enough. Jeez. And then we need to upgrade the signalum flux duct. with Enderium, which the Enderium will be new for me. I haven't made Enderium yet. Which Enderium is Enderium Blend with Resonant Ender, which is I have to use the Melter and Melt Redstone. Reson I have to melt Ender Pearls. So let's see, Ender. Not sure how many I need, so let's grab two. And then let me grab another tank just to be safe. And a hardened upgrade. A 
reinforced upgrade. And can we make signalum? No, we, we need cryothium dust. Cool, so that should be enough. I do have the tank, right? There we go. And let's go to mechanism. Here we're going to get the melter, which is empty. Cool. We'll start melting you, and I'll move the glowstone. Ugh. There we go. I'll put the glowstone... Say energize glowstone? Yeah. Put the glowstone here for now. It's cool that it lights up. And I'll put the portable tank for Enderium heat. <coughs> Crescent. Crescent ha let's see. Crescent hammer. This one has molten lumium in it. And then let's dump you. Come on, lag. There we go. Okay. And now, hardened. And that upgraded. And let's see, how is the resonant enders doing well? We're going to dump you in there. Makes a good amount. So now we have that. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, I I logged in about four five four oh five. It's nice to see you though. I'm glad you're online. Uh, let me see if I can... I should have brought more buckets. Or let me just take this with, because I'm pretty sure this is more than enough. Mm, yeah, I'll bring it with me. And let's see, I will... Enderium blend. I'll have to do this manually for right now. Enderium blend. I wish I could just, can I just do, oh, that is so cool. I didn't know you could do that. So you can just use the tank. I never knew that. Pulverized platinum. Oh, let me see. Um, it's a processing pattern of Platinum, pulverized platinum in the crusher. I'm trying to remember what I did yesterday. I know I tried to automate this, but factory, like it sh that should be right. I'm still learning. Um, and let's make. 20 of you. Nice. So yeah, I made a elite factory. I plugged it in on my last channel slot that I had downstairs. So cool. I didn't know you could use the tank and you didn't have to use buckets. Now I feel super silly for like earlier when I was using uh, Signalium and I just kept taking buckets out. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. And Derium blend should now be smeltable. Let's go to hmm. Before yeah, now before I pour that into the flux duct, uh, let me. Ah, it can't be. Okay. And let's see, so I want to 
I need to go to the inductions induction smelter, right? So let me grab some sand. And let's go. Man, this lag is killing me. Thermal, and then the induction smelter. Like that. Okay, cool. Enderium ingots and slag. Okay, well now we have Enderium ingots. And let's see, can you now be melted? Or are you still gonna be mean to me? Nope, so I need two. And let me, did I have a sharpening kit? Is I don't know, is that a sharpening kit? That is a sharpening kit, cool. I'll put you back and then I'll tick accelerate and switch to molten enderium and let's make a sharpening kit because that is the next mining level I wanted to hit that up on my way to the to the flux duct so we got that and then I just need to hold it. And actually, I don't need to make two because Trin can just hold the one I just made. Uh, so ingot cast, I'll pour those back out. Cool. All right, and then, so yeah, we have the Enderium Sharpening Kit, which I'm not gonna use because I'm pretty sure the next one is Terra Steel. This one, choice choice reward or ender pearls or platinum. Not really that great. And Terra Steel, Ooh. cool, yeah, because we've been uh, using the arc furnace to melt down Terra Steel armor. So I'm going to just jump straight to Terra Steel, and I'm pretty sure this is the Supremium from Mystical Agriculture. I don't have any of those yet. But I'll let Trin get the dinger for Enderium by holding it, and then we'll both upgrade to Terra Steel mining level. Uh, let's see, Cryo Flux Duct. So now, now we have that. Now we can make Resonant Flux Duct, which is fifty thousand. And then, yeah, as soon as I make this once, I can I can set a uh, crafting recipe for it. An auto-craft it, I mean. Okay, 51, flux duct. And let's see, what's the next upgrade? Is this. Two, what am I missing? Electrum, see, I knew it. I knew I was gonna over overdo the Electrum. Electrum is silver and gold. Is there a faster way? Yeah. Uh, pulverized gold and pulverized silver, cool. Gold. Silver. I'll settle for 33 because I'm trying to be a little bit faster right now. In the induction smelter. There we go. It was done before I could click on it. I'll take you with me. I don't want to forget that I have that in there. So now we have more Electrum. I can't wait till I have like the backbone of my new ME system up and running so that I can set everything to automate. Or I ran out of fused quartz. I really hate letting go of my mouse to go around my microphone. <laughs> 
Fused Quartz. Can you just give me the regular... Fused Quartz should be double quartz in an alloy furnace, okay. So let's do that real quick. And that is on the mechanism floor in the alloy furnace. And I can't tick accelerate nuclear craft because these bad boys will die immediately. So let's see, four cryostabilized flux duct. Let me see if I can do one. Can I do two? I'm not going to be greedy. There. All right. Okay. I'll settle for 12 because I'm running out of time. So now I have cryostabilized flux duct and I need to fill it with gelid cryothium. Gelid cryothium comes from cryothium dust, which is blizz powder and snowballs and redstone. And one thing that I was leaving off as a surprise that I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Rub the Tum Tum, I'm glad that you're here because uh, I wanted to keep this for the stream so I could surprise y'all. Um, mechanism floor, yeah. The Mob Crusher. I ran around last night looking for a snow biome and I used a mob imprisonment tool on uh, a blizz and I threw the blizz into the mob duplicator so that I can start getting blizz rods. So let's see. Overnight I let it go. We have a lot of blizz rods. Perfect. And then I know if I run these through yeah the pulverizer uh, we get a 50% chance for snowballs as well. And, and, and you just break it by hand you get two. If you run it through this you get four. And I don't have a sag mill yet. Uh. But pulverizer we can uh fire some of those through the thermal expansion pulverizer. Why is there a pig up here now? For real? Last time there were two cows up here. Pulverizer. Pulverizer. Focus. And now I can tick accelerate you. I'm not worried about you dying on me. Oh look, it's already done. Wow, this is so cool. It ran out of space. What am I doing? I'm just trying to take the full advantage of the tick acceleration for right now. There we go. put you all in here. I need some blitz powder and some blizz rods. That, that, and that. Did I pick everything up? I didn't leave anything on the ground. I'll see you later, piggy. And I wanted to do... Now that it's all in my ender pouch... Here's some... Some rods. I mean, I mean, I need to move all of this stuff, make it look nicer, and some dust. And now, the ender pouch is gonna fill those up. Cool. So we needed that. And do I have snowballs? Oh yeah, did it? Yeah, it took all my snowballs. So I must have a bin for snowballs already. Let's see. I need. Cryothium dust. Sweet! Let's just make as much as I can for right now. Because that's the only purpose this stuff has. 
cool. So that's good for now. Uh, and then the magma crucible. Perfect. Thermal. The magma crucible. And I'm getting excited. This is some end game uh, power that I've never achieved before. This is the first time I've played this far into a mod pack. And then aren't you supposed to be... Oh wow, you're already there. And... Yes! Yes! <laughs> Cryo stabilized flux duct. Transfer infinite. <laughs> infinite RF a tick. That's what I'm talking about right there. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these just because I can. And let's do... New mechanism. Not that way, this way. Oh, now it's raining on top of... Oh, it's daytime, so I can't sleep it off. But this is why. Boom. Boom. I really hope that you're gonna... Thank you. <laughs> the rendering was just slow. And... Boom, boom, boom. I'm just gonna put you down right here. Just for right now. So that is so cool. So it's a... It's a flux duct filled with redstone surrounded by... It's a... a it's an enderium flux duct filled with redstone surrounded by electrum that's filled with gelid cryothium. That's crazy! <laughs> That's crazy, but I'm so happy, so so happy. I this is end game, end end game uh, power transferred, and I've never I've never made it this far before. I'm really happy. Transfer infinite RF a tick. So this will definitely be enough to pull out of the uh, mechanism fusion reactor tonight when Trin uh, pops the switch. When Trin pops the switch tonight, uh, this bad boy will go off, and it'll start pumping us some RF. Love it. Love it, love it. And I need to figure out something about this FPS drop. I don't know if it's the towers, or if it's the dynamic tank, or if it's my computer just being a potato. <laughs> I don't know. I really was hoping to also upgrade the induction matrix. Uh, man, what time is it? So, I'll let the induction matrix, that the one I have up and running, I'll let that go right now. Let's see. So mechanism cables might have lag. That's what you're what you're saying. I might switch to Ender IO because everybody else is doing Ender IO. I just don't want to be that guy that just keeps copying everyone else. I want to do my own thing. Um, I set up a lot of auto crafting uh, recipes. So let's elite. There we go. I wanted to make the elite induction provider which has an output of 1.6 million rf uh i need one of these and let's see do i have enough i have enough so i'm gonna start on that one i wonder how long it would take to make this thing this is so cool auto crafting all right so it made that we have an elite induction provider and then i wanted to make an elite induction cell which can hold 25 giga rf or like what i would like to call it is gajillion it holds 25.6 gajillion rf <laughs> next i'm missing 76 enriched alloys and that's it so I will make these off camera, and then when uh, I log in tonight with Trin, 
I can set this on stream to autocraft and uh, I'll put together the induction matrix with Trin while she bounces around and does her thing and then we'll celebrate by flipping the switch and turning on the uh, mechanism fusion reactor uh, and that'll be tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. I know my schedule is under uh, my feed. Uh, it says 7.30 to 9.30. I kind of get anxious to play, so I always push for playing at 7. But it'll be between 7 and 7.30. Both of us will be online. So uh, rub the tum-tum. You'll be able to talk to both of us at the same time. And you'll be there for the... Uh, uh, for the christening, I guess, of turning on the of the fusion reactor for the first time, and this everything after this is brand new to me. I've never made it this far in a Minecraft mod pack before, but uh, we'll we'll leave off on that, and I'll make these missing enriched alloys, and we'll have a a pretty beastly uh, induction matrix going on for tonight, and. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.